What's happening, everybody? Boy, Big Brando. It's about 7.30 in the morning right now. Funny thing is somebody that works here at my job found me on YouTube, hit me up, and said, can I buy some masks and can I bring them into work? And he's gonna come and meet me over here to pick them up right now. It's crazy because the popularity of the YouTube channel and all that stuff, there's a lot of people that watch, but also there's a lot of people that work here where I work, possibly trying to make some side money on their own too, you know what I mean? So they might have vinyl cutters and heat presses. They might have been on YouTube trying to look up how to make t-shirts and then end up stumbling on my channel so um shout out to you man i got your mask right here i got six masks for you so you can check them out i was able to re-up on cotton mask so they're uploaded now on the site patreon already has the link and patreon people are already ordering up very limited quantities i was only able to pick up like three thousand of these things take that back i was only able to pick up 2800 of these things and they're all uploaded i'll have them up there until i fully fully sell out these masks are five dollars each like i said before you do not have to shop with me i'm only making these available for the people that don't have reseller permits that can't order from any of the wholesalers and having a hard time finding masks. i know like you know masks sell out fast every single time they get uploaded somewhere so I'm making these available for anybody that's having a hard time finding them. And once again, you do not have to shop with me. If you don't agree with the price, if you don't agree with the shipping, if you don't agree with cotton mass in general, you do not have to shop with me. I'm not making no profit off of these things. I'm only making them available to people. So if you are interested, I'll leave the link in the description box right now for the lightweight masks, the three pack of those, and then these cotton masks. I don't have none of them on me right now. They're at home, but I will try it on, show you guys what it fits like, how it is. I'll give you guys the full disclosure. Like I said before, Patreon already knows what these things look like and fit like, so they're already ordering up. If you wanted to be a part of Patreon, Make sure you go to patreon.com slash big brando that link will be in the description also all right i want to show you guys what these masks look like on and then i'm gonna compare them to the bayside cotton mask that you could get from all the other wholesalers out there so first up is the bayside mask there it is this is what it looks like cotton on the front and back no stretch you can't stretch these out so when you're putting these on i can't just put it I can't just put it on and then wrap it around my ears it doesn't go all the way like that so what I have to do to put these on is wrap it around one ear first make sure it's on there nice and snug and then stretch this side over um so it's over my ear so this is the cotton mask from Bayside you find these on all the wholesaler websites right now this is what it looks like it's on, it fits really tight, it's pulling on my ears right now. This is just as a comparison to the cotton mask that I have to offer. So once again, this is the Bayside mask. This is what it looks like. This is the mask that I have to offer right here. Obviously, without this G on it, I offer them blank, just black mask. Cotton with the satin lining. So this side right here is the side that's on your face. I don't know if you could see that, but it's satin on the inside so it's soft against your face. The cool thing about this mask it stretches so just wrap it around boom so as a disclaimer for me my face is 14 and a half inches ear to ear 14 and a half inches is a pretty big face but there's still a lot of room if your face is bigger than 14 and a half for it to stretch and fit cool thing is my wife's face is about 12 inches and this mask right here fits her face also. So 12 inches ear to ear fits her. Mine's 14 and a half, a lot bigger, a lot wider. This one fits me. So, so comparing the two, Bayside versus the cotton mask that I could get, I'm going with these all day long only because they're made here in Los Angeles. They have really good stretch. And can you see that? The cotton around the ear, this one has more of a flat feel to it, no stretch, but it's flat. This one's rounded, so it's a lot more comfortable, a lot more easy on the ears. With When it comes to masks, the main thing that I'm trying to get from these masks is comfort. Not necessarily protection from anything, but mainly for comfort. If I'm wearing it all day long at work, I work 10, 12 hour days. This is something I could wear for 10 to 12 hours without me constantly touching it and adjusting it and adjusting my ears and all that crazy stuff. Because 
that defeats the purpose of even wearing the mask if you're constantly touching your face. I need something comfortable. That's why this one for me is what I'm really going with. And these are the ones that I want to offer to the people. This is what I use for all my brands. When I'm selling these masks, I'm selling these. These right here, $5 flat, $5 each. Link will be in the description. The lightweight masks are three for 10. Same exact link is gonna be in the description. About to wash this car right here. Take you guys through that whole process. like crazy because it's like 90 degrees in Los Angeles today so let me show you the finished results there you have it I got a few more cars coming in today easy $25 right here so I should be able to knock out maybe about four cars today hundred dollars in less than an hour of work you know what I mean easy call no water no nothing just spray on wipe off get it going all right just a few of the different things that I do just to make a little bit of extra money just wanted to share with you guys since I'm doing this uh, daily vlog shit. All right, so while we wait for the other cars to come over here to get washed, I'm gonna do a little bit of wheelie practice because I'm trying to get some wheelies going on that BMX bike. All right, y'all, so we just got done knocking out all the cars for today. Some of you guys might not have known that I have the car detail business also. Patreon already knows this because I've talked about it on Patreon about just different ways I make money. Obviously, washing cars is an easy call. There's no water involved. It's just spray on and wipe off. That's easy for me. So I can knock these cars out in less than 20 minutes, like 15 minutes or something like that. Easy, easy work, man. I just found an easy way to make money with this waterless wash because I could just walk in, knock it out, and then be on my way. The business structure behind the waterless wash is crazy. The margins are super crazy. You just gotta put in the work. Just wanted to show that part with you guys, washing the car, showing the process, all that. I know it's sped up through the time lapse, but it takes like 15 minutes or so to do. Anything like a SUV, something like that, might take like 20 minutes because you gotta get up on the roof, but most cars take 10, 15 minutes. Spray it down, wipe it off, dress the wheels, and you're on your way, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to show off this sublimation mask that I'm testing out right now. Uh, the fitment isn't that great. I'll say that right now. It's kind of pulling on my ears. There's really no stretch to this polyester mask. Other than that, it, it's decent to, to print on. The one thing I don't like, let me see if you could get up in there, is around the seams, you could still see the white. I don't know if you guys could see that. There's the actual print. But around the seams right here, it's like uh, you could still see the white. And you could see my ears are pretty stressed from getting pulled on. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, the homie Just In Time Tees or Just In Time Shirts, I think that's his name. Dude placed a thousand piece order for the lightweight mask. And we were talking a little bit about selling masks maybe a week or two ago. And um, before that, me and the homie Diz and Mike from Suerte Muerte were talking about the same exact thing. And that's not necessarily selling masks for your own brand, but selling other businesses masks. The reason I say that is because things are opening up now, right? So here in Los Angeles, restaurants are starting to open up for dining. Um, retail shops are opening up. Barber shops are opening up. Um, tattoo shops, all that stuff is starting to open up but with the restriction of wearing a mask whenever you're inside whatever establishment there is, right? What I started doing early on, maybe a month out, was thinking of how am I gonna sell other businesses masks because I knew that's gonna be the new normal, so I started planning ahead of time. I talked about this with the homie Just In Time Tees or Just In Time Shirt. I'm pretty sure I'm messing up his name, but uh, we were just talking about selling masks and who to sell them to and who needs the mask. My basic rundown on how I'm getting the business to sell masks to other businesses is just making one, going to any shop and saying, hey, I could put your logo on this mask for you and then shoot them the price and then talk about it. Well, the homie Just In Time Tees did the same exact strategy and he just placed a thousand piece order. Um, he has, I think four businesses 
that he's doing and he's i think one business is ordering like 250 masks from him which is crazy he's gonna be pressing all of them i think he's using htv i don't even think he's doing plastisol transfers but the logo's small it's just on one side and single color he's about to kill right now which is crazy so we just box those up shipped them out to him he should be getting them in the next i think two days or something like that he uh we shipped it out priority to him but what i wanted to tell you guys is you guys can be doing the same exact thing so all you have to do is figure out what local businesses around your shop who could benefit from mass i know we're all thinking of putting our own brand name on the mass and using it for our own brands but there's a lot of money out there to be made with these businesses who are probably just wearing paper masks or something like that you know what i mean they could just be wearing you know them one-time use paper masks you could sell them on these reusable ones say they got like maybe 10 employees in there you could sell them on three masks per employee and then they could wash them and reuse them and the cost saving benefits to that also you could sell them on being on brand with the whole restaurant or business or whatever you're selling to right because they're all going to have every single employee is going to have the company logo on the mask that's an easy sell right there so if you wanted to do that i would suggest either getting like a, a ipad or mocking stuff up on your phone walking to these businesses and showing them hey i could put your logo on this type of mask maybe you could be wearing a mask with somebody else's logo or your own logo that way they see something and visually it speaks to a lot of people right if you see the actual product then you're like oh damn you know it could make up the mind for them make up some mock-ups put it on your phone put it on the ipad walk into these businesses and be like hey do you guys got masks or you could walk into a business and see they're all wearing different masks and be like hey i can make these masks for you everybody in the shop will look the same they'll all be the same thing it's almost like going with their uniform you know what i mean so think about that if you guys wanted to do that those lightweight masks are perfect for that obviously just in time tees is living proof of that i'm using the same exact thing i'm going to mechanics i'm going to car washes i'm going to local restaurants diz is going to his local restaurant Restaurant. there's a lot of people doing this just remember the time is now because things are starting to open back up and before these big print corporations start jumping in and start offering this service you might as well get in it's an even playing field right now why because this is brand new for everybody right everybody's anticipating things reopening up nobody knows how things are going to work out big corporations very very small businesses are all in the same boat now so now you as a home printer you have the opportunity to go to some of these businesses i've went to a few restaurants already already big chain restaurants and locked in orders so you could do this on your own